Okay, I've got this design. This was a question from the Inkscape for CNC Group. The guy's wanting to add this wrestler design to this tattered flag design. Um, I was going to show him how to do it, so I just had him send it to me. I'm going to make a quick video on it, and hopefully it'll help some other people out down the road. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do, he said he wants this design to be... 14 inches wide so I'm gonna get get it resized first to the cut size that he's gonna be going with um, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to document properties under the file tab because when I opened this up it was in metric so I want to set the default measurements to inches because that's what I work in I don't like millimeters so I'm gonna set here under the front page I'm gonna set the format to inches on this and on the display to inches now I'm just gonna leave this open for a minute now I'm gonna click I'm gonna drag a box around and select all the parts here I'm going to lock the ratio here and then I'm going to set this to 14 inches wide and let that resize I'm also going to turn off the stroke because that's throwing my measurement off a little bit so I will hold the shift key and click this X down here in the bottom left corner that will turn the stroke off as, as you can see when I turn the stroke off that actually gives me 13.950 so I'll resize that again to 14 inches wide now it'll be a true 14 inches wide with the stroke turned off now before I start on this just a peeve of mine I want to resize my document property to match the design here so I'm going to go right here under the document properties and I'm going to select this resize to content with everything selected and that's going to automatically resize my page to the design that I'm working on I just like that better and then when you save your design everything will be zeroed on the X and Y axis when you save your DXF now I can close the document properties page now as you can see this design he sent me everything is white so it's kinda hard to see what's going on here or it may be an off gray actually because I can barely make it out um, the first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna change the color to something I can see a little better I'll change it to black Just coming down here in the bottom and selecting black right here now the first thing I noticed with this design is this path is not all one path you the flag is the stars are separate the stripes are separate so the first thing I want to do is make the flag all one path so that I can add the wrestler to it so I'm going to drag a box around these stars where all these stars are selected and then I'm gonna go path union I'm gonna make sure they're paged up and then I'll change the color of those to white so I can see them now I'm going to select the flag this part of it this stripe and this I'm just holding shift on my keyboard and left clicking on each one till they're all selected now I'll go path union on those to where that's all one path now I need to take these stars and difference them out of the flag so with that you want to make sure they're on top which they are I already paged them up here using the raise selection to top and then I will hold shift and select the flag and I'll go path difference now the flag is all one design I'll change it to a gray just so you can see the flag versus the wrestler design we're going to be adding there now what I would do to add this wrestler design is I would just make an offset of the wrestlers convert that to a path I'll union it to the flag and then you can just difference these wrestlers out of the flag as a negative cutout so the way I'm going to do it they're or other ways of doing it but I will select the wrestlers and then I will go path I'll go linked offset 
Now I'll come down here. The linked offset is automatically going to be the same color as the path that you're offsetting. It's going to be hard to see how thick I'm making that. So I'll select a different color like red so that I can see what's going on. Now I'll grab, you'll see this one little node up here when you're in your node tool. I will grab that node by left clicking on it and pull it up. And as you can see, that starts to create an offset there of that path. So now what I'll do, I kind of, I like to know how thick this offset I'm making is. It doesn't have to be exact, but I want to know it's at least thick enough to be strong. So I will go to my circle tool here, or ellipse slash arc tool. I will hold control on my keyboard. I'll left click and drag down at an angle and that will make a symmetrical circle. Now see here, that's 62 thousands. I want this border to probably be anywhere from an eighth inch to a quarter inch thick. So I'll make this circle, we'll call it 200 thousands. Call that a happy in between there. I'll change the color of it and I'll bring it down here and lay this circle on the edge of that path. And now I'll go back to my node selection tool. I'll click on this linked offset and drag this up to where it's as thick as that circle. And that will give me a nice thick outline there to union to this flag that'll be strong enough to hold well. Because this is also, with this flag design, the only thing holding these lower stripes on, holding them together, will be this offset. So I want it to be thick enough to be strong enough. Now, what I will do, um, a few considerations would be if I'm making this, is obviously you're going to have spots like this. He's going to cut this in 16 gauge. Say you're using fine cuts, you're going to have a 45 thousandths curve, but I'll make a 50 thousandths ball here. Actually, it'd be better probably to make it 90 thousandths because your curve's going to have to cut through here and then back again. So you want enough room for double your curve. And just make sure like this spot here, that's going to be thick enough for your curve to go past without overlapping and causing a torch crash. Some of these little spots like this, I would probably just delete them. They're too small to worry about and they won't add enough detail to the design to really matter. Same with maybe this spot, you might be able to leave it. I'd probably just get rid of it and this one too. But I don't see any other issues there. So now what I'll do is select, turn, go back to my selection tool. I'll click on this linked offset and then I just say object to path. Now that's no longer a linked offset, that's now a new path. Now I can hold shift on my keyboard I'll select the flag with the linked offset that's now a path selected. And now you can go path, union, and now that's all one path. That flag now has the outline of the wrestlers added to it. So now the only thing left to do to make these wrestlers part a negative cutout on this flag is select the wrestlers hold shift, select the flag, or you can just drag a box around both of them. And then I will go path, difference. And now that's all one path that you can cut out. The wrestlers have been added as a negative cutout. Like I say, when you do something like that, you're gonna wanna go in these little spots like this, these aren't even worth having. So just with your node selection tool, highlight those nodes, hit backspace and delete them. And like I say, I would just eliminate these small spots. They're too small to machine. They won't have enough room for a lead in and you'll get, you know, pierce marks that are not worth cutting. So I would drag a box around those, backspace, get rid of those small details. Once you've eliminated the small details that you don't want, you know, you'll go around. This, this particular design will need a little bit of cleanup. 
but I told him I was just going to show him how I would add it. I'm not going to go through and clean it all up. Something like this, this spot right here you want to look for when you're cleaning up, that's, that's going to cause an issue. I would drag a box around with my node selection tool. If you zoom in, ah, it's kind of hard to do. Zoom into this point here with all those nodes selected. If I hover my cursor over that one, hold shift and hit J, that will eliminate all those nodes and join those and get rid of that little problem area there. So then you'll just go around and delete nodes, smooth up what's left. Here's a, there's a set of double nodes there, so I'll hit shift, J, join those. You'll go around and clean these up, adjust them, smooth your nodes out, and this will be ready to cut. You can save it. I always advise saving the original as an SVG so you can come back in and re-edit this if you want to. And then you can save as a DXF if that's what your machine needs for cutting. Myself, I use sheet cam, so I just use the SVGs. But always save an SVG, and then if you need to, save a DXF for your machine. And that's it. That's how I would add the wrestlers to the tattered flag design he had here. When I'm done, I usually always set my paths back to black. That's just the way I like to view them. But that's it. That's how I would add those. It's not the only way you could do it. There are other ways you could go about it, but I would use linked offset, convert that linked offset to a path, union it to the flag, and then difference out the wrestlers. And that should work for him. Thanks for watching. I hope that helps some people out. Don't forget to like and subscribe.